welcome to my YouTube channel and what is my first DIY video uh, which you've probably stumbled across because you've encountered the same problem that I have this week in that so I purchased a new dishwasher and that the supply hose and the outlet drainage hose are just not long enough to reach the drainage and the water pipes that they need to, to supply the machine. So I'm just going to briefly talk through the process that I've followed in order to correct that so I can fit the dishwasher and, and use it. So the cold water supply hose uh, for the unit was far too short as was the drainage hose on the back of the unit. There are options available to buy an adapter which allows you to connect this to another drainage hose and thus extending it but I wasn't too happy about having a, a join in the pipe underneath the plinth in behind the carcass which I'm never going to be able to see. So that's why I've looked into uh, replacing this said hose with a, a longer hose, which I will show you in a moment. Um, the drain, the, sorry, the supply hose itself is actually very easy to change because they're just screw fit. So they just screw onto the machine as you would with a washing machine. Uh, they're very easy to replace. But the actual hose for the drainage outlet is actually going integral. Uh, into the machine which actually connects to the pump and this is what I'm going to explain about how I have come across changing it. Okay so these are the products I've purchased from an online retailer. We've got the new three and a half meter cold water inlet hose which as I say it's just it's just plug and play really. Uh, it's a screw fit and it also has the elbow connection on this end as per the original. Uh, the drainage hose is a little bit more difficult to fit but I'll talk about that in a moment. Um, again, it's three and a half meters long. This one has a 22 millimeter outlet at one end and a 29 millimeter at that end. Make sure you check what size uh, you require for your pump before you purchase the pipe, as there are some different variants. Okay, the first step to fitting the drainage hose is to actually put the machine on its side uh, so that you can access the, the base of the unit. This particular Beko model has a clip-on base, which I can't do one-handed, but you, you need to use a screwdriver to push the clips down in around the base, and then the flap simply unfolds. Um, so I'm just going to move that out of the way, and then I'll be back. Okay, so I've now unclipped the base of the dishwasher uh, to reveal the pump. This is the hose that we need to change here. Uh, as you can see on the, the base, there is actually a float switch which, which uh, cuts the power to the dishwasher uh, if there was any flooding of such. Um, it's not necessary to remove this in this case because I can actually easily get access without disconnecting all this part. And I'll probably be using a set of pliers just to remove this clip here so I can remove this original pipe. So I'm just going to get some pliers and squeeze on that now. Some devices might have a manufacturer's clip or a, a Jubilee clip holding this uh, pipe on. Uh, so they do vary. But let's just take this one off and then we'll uh, see how we go. So yes, with the pliers it's very easy to remove this one. Just crimp it and off you go. Fast being able to just pull this one off. If you've used the dishwasher before it might be an idea to get a towel underneath um, just in case there's any water still in the system which could pour out. As you can see it's a little bit in this one even though it's brand new they do test them in the factory so there's a little bit of water there which I'm just going to get a towel for now. Okay so I've just put a little bit of kitchen towel in the end of the hose to reduce any further spillage. Now I need to go to the rear of the machine where you can see where the uh, pipe actually exits the uh, machine. Uh, this particular model requires just a, a flat screwdriver just to prise this panel out using those two clips. Should be able to push that out now. And that gets that one out of the way. Again, I don't need to disconnect anything else here, anything further, as I've got access there to slide that one out. So I'm just going to slide that hose out now. and I can insert the new hose into its place.
okay you can see that the replacement hose is slotted into where the original was and that's slotted in there perfectly so I've now closed that flap and now I'm concentrating on the bottom of the machine where I've taken the clamp the hose clamp from the old hose and placed it onto the new hose uh, once I've slotted this on I will then be able to use the pliers to put this clamp in place I can't do that single-handedly so I'm going to need to put the camera down for a moment but I will return once I've done that. Okay, I've got the pliers on the clamp and I'm just putting it onto the pump there. I'm just going to turn this bit round here just so it doesn't foul the, the base of the unit uh, once I put that back on. So I'm just going to clamp that and push it round so the actual clamp clip is now well out of the way, ready for uh, replacing the base of the unit. So let's move the tools out of the way. We can now replace the base of the unit, which on this model again just has some slots on the back. So these slots just slot into the holes, like slow, and then it just merely just clips in by pushing me around the circumference where the clips are based. And that's that fitted. So now I'm going to put the uh, machine back on its uh, base, or it's back on its legs, and go ahead and fit it. Okay, so that is now the new longer outlet hose fully fitted and ready for the dishwasher to be installed. Okay, well thank you for watching my first DIY how-to video. Uh, the reason I made this video is because I found it extremely frustrating not being able to get a, a right length hose from any of the major or minor local retailers. Uh, they just simply weren't available. Uh, one quick point was just to remind you, just before you do order your new hose, just to check the measurements of the inlet and the outlet. Make sure you order the correct pipe. Thank you.